format we need for it because if we could just go out and pick out news articles or stuff like that or look at companies, it might be a little easier to know. So just tell me, like, what are some of the problems that we can see or we have with 3D printers that you see just in industry? Do you want me to answer that now? Or? Yeah. Okay. Just kind of as a run-through. Um, so the one that we're looking at is warping, which is when the corner of the part starts raising off the platform before it's even finished printing. And then other ones that we've seen are with problems with resolution, so depending on how dense of a product you're trying to make, there can be gaps in the product that make it so it's not the ideal flush, like flat surface. We're painting a picture. What are, what's the goal in mind here? And how is MATLAB going to help us do that? Okay, so the first thing that MATLAB does is it allows us to interface with the camera. It's kind of like MATLAB has this eye, which is the camera, which is looking at what we're printing and we're able to capture images in real time and then have um, documented how all the pictures through the progress of, press, uh, of making the part. The first pictures that we capture should have a show a flat part. And so at the time, um, when we start taking a picture of the part and comparing it to the first pictures, if we start seeing that the part is moving up, as in looking at the pixels specifically, then we should be able to tell this is occurring and MATLAB could send a notification through our code saying, okay, warping is occurring now, so we need to stop this or we need to make adjustments to the printing process.